welcome. I'm so glad that you can join me here today. 216 from the novel, The Sovereign Light, named after my ministry, a course in metaphysical spirituality. And these here two pages are excerpts 565 and 66 out of 852, which is actually 48. But when you purchase the book, it adds on those extra pages for you there. <clears throat> and this here is the emblem, the logo, if you will, the symbol that you will find on the back of um, the book. And so, <clears throat> shall we begin? Infinite objects known in their creative constructs to experience in certain things the same way by consciousness. The forms of matter that are imprinted upon reality and for the self to make use of have only but the essence of its creator energy and not a the soul So if we can take this here moment and as some First Nations would know and only speak of in their words, not of the before and after and but of the here and now, present moment. Nothing else exists in their vocabulary of words through expressing in this way that we give the sound that comes out of our mouths that connects to our brain and thinking, this electrical component that brings it together and finds meaning within culture and tribe and globally accepted as being this or that. And so the power is in the connecting, the connecting from within that we may bring about into our external world that we can express and create rather than self-destruct from being disconnected from that sovereign light that awakens us to finding ourselves and who we are, that spark, that empowerment. This is our inherent right I want you to breathe all this in as deep as it will take you. And just breathe that in and anchor into this heart space center, if you will. Open the space, allow it in.
the deeper you can go, the more you can ascend. But it takes an awakening for this to happen. And there's a lot, a lot of shadow work and releasing and letting go and clearing and deleting before that can take place. And that all comes from the heart. So when people say, go with your heart, there's still things, traumas that need clearing. Otherwise, whatever is brought up has to be dealt with and released. All these grievances, irreconcilable differences that disconnects and separates us from each other and thus creating hatred and disease. Just think about all those things, how we can relate and know whatever is it that we see, we are that. Whatever it is that we experience, we are that. We have a choice to see it through beauty or any other way we might see it in that might be blocking our energy and creating pain and through this resistance that we might be experiencing that this is a process in learning how to release and let go. And how do we do that? Well, there is a difference between faith and blind faith. And so I'll let you to decipher. As we begin here with these words that I would like <clears throat> to hear you <laughs> say, say these words. <laughs> it's my plan to wanting to hug me. And you may opt to have your eyes closed or open. <clears throat> Take a few deep breaths in <clears throat> and out. We have done this many times before. Allow yourself to sink right down into your center. Feel it. You know where it is. I want to hear you say these words with me. At the very least, think them. With a reverence for all beings on earth, I walk in peace. Really feel this statement. And throughout the day, see where you may fall short of it and where it needs acknowledging. <clears throat> where you could sure use to practice it a little longer so that it may happen naturally and start to replicate within your belief system this reverence that you may respond in through this beauty for all beings on earth and walk in peace amongst them. This level of respect that makes a difference between 
you being a savage or not. <laughs> and so really, really, is this resonating? And how is it that it might not? And where is it that it might not be resonating? And just say these words. This is the lesson 188 for the day. With reference for all beings on earth, I walk in peace. With reverence for all beings on earth, I walk in peace. Really feel it, claim it, own it as your own vibration your own energetic signature let it infuse and diffuse within this field holographic field of yours and be responsible and show others and ripple this response out into the world with reverence for all beings on earth I walk in peace with reverence for all beings on earth I walk in peace so with imagination gives to invention the reason to give to the intellect a reason to create to impress with an energy self can construct matter and to manipulate into a useful form. <clears throat> the earth too provides the self along with the many other souls and species of souls, as well as the many parts of her that is made of her essence. When striking a chord, the vibration of a musical instrument will in essence influence all the other strings. And when touched, if only for but a moment in the same, to play along this way, what the consent might be will vary on all levels in this way. For example, another important energetic to consider what is it, what it is <laughs> that it is consuming and what is it, what it is that might be consuming it in order to determine that what the self can ingest is not vampiric and in its practice to learn what is best suited for its betterment nutritionally. Nutrition certainly does help to guide the self into a higher awareness of itself. How the self can treat its surroundings and of all that is life will reflect the level of evolved state and frequency it feels with its momentum. Everything is alive. Simply. 
by the energy it receives and gives everything and everything exists that is given from all that is consciousness awareness <laughs> as much as the self can feel itself to be of life so too is the earth with reverence for all beings on earth I walk in peace with reverence for all beings on earth I walk in peace with reverence for all beings on earth I walk in peace. <clears throat> so, hmm, interesting. So, you know, if something is man-made and refined, you will continuously feel hungry and you will continuously feel lethargic and you will continuously uh, feel this, uh, some kind of allergic reaction going on um, because it is synthetic. And so the more disconnected the energy that we take in from our Mother Earth, the more we are prone to disease and aging and so on and so forth. Today, rather than just from its experiences, practice more awareness with what the self wishes to know through feeling out in the way of what it is eating and how does it make it feel after eating it. Certainly we have lots of experience in this department. But are we awakened, aware enough, might this be too much for us to take in, to analyze in this way, and at what level of sensitivity we might be at. The whole game here is is what's going to separate us into two worlds is who is sensitive and who is not and all the variables in between the whole objective the agenda for the cyber transhumans is this disconnect from the light i mean you can only get to certain levels we're in it right now we're all experiencing this fourth dimensional fourth density and from there we can choose to become trapped or evolve to the next levels 
Like what I mean by that, your level of sensitivity, it requires that you go along and come along with that connection. So we're bombarded with LED lights and with white lights and, you know, dark lights, not so much yet. <laughs> it's going to be reintroduced back into society again to distinguish who are the angel gods and who are the cyborgs. So this book reveals it's a it's an apocalyptic in nature that might be a little overwhelming or discombobulated in a way that not everybody gets it like it too confusing or not grounded enough this is why in every lesson that we go into i have us get into this meditative state that we might open up and touch upon those extra senses and dive deep into awareness and see what we can get and from there how much we can lighten up by working through these darker aspects of ourselves so today rather than just from its experiences practice more awareness with what the self wishes to know through feeling out in the way of what it is eating consuming and how does it make it feel after eating it and i find with me in a very primal level that this eating uh, awareness that we to eat the desire to eat and consume is is kind of interlocked and interweaved and connected in that way with also my sexual drive if you will and and this is something of a primal level for some reason it's this this the same connection that i have that desire to want to eat is also i'm i'm kind of noticing depending on what you're eating uh if you have fresh fish for instance it started coming back to me this this libido again you see and it was so connected to oh I did I just eat that and and you become so connected I'm the fish I was I bought this halibut and the person showed me the entire fish I mean the eyes were still open and glossy they weren't even you know it was so fresh you could kiss it you know it was like a big thing I should have taken a picture of it and so this is what it means I mean it's like how fresh is your food what are you taking in and all those different indices that i just gave an example and also i'm working through many many years of this um conspiracy of starvation and what my lineage has gone through and these world wars and the depression and we still have that that we must clear on a global level and what we're going through right now that's being all released and we're we're like reawakening to this repeat pattern that it's up to us to work through and release on a global level that oh we have to stock up on food and and we're gonna starve and we develop eating disorders and how connected it's also in this drive this drive as our libido and our sexual drive as well because when we eat and our physical strength and everything else is so connected to our body and so what we eat we will feel and it will connect us to those energies 
Okay, only when the self can slow down to consider what it is made of and what is of essence it can share with and in what way the exchange of energy is. So how does it feel to eat from something that was killed or is the lettuce that is being eaten rotten from the inside out? I was. This was an example to iceberg lettuce. And you'll even notice when you put it in distilled water how it like it has this kind of yellow that comes out of it like it starts to look like a rusty <laughs> piss kind of thing but uh, iceberg lettuce is something to also be aware of how you treat it and how it is treated and before you consume it and look at it is it spotting does it have this kind of bacteria or a parasite that eats on it in this way that it's so so rare to find healthy iceberg lettuce i find anyway and so i end up buying it and throwing most of it out because from it rots from the core inside out so <clears throat> and so, for example, how does it feel? And then just write it down. So there's a blank space there. Write it down. Does the crystal have a soul? Is it spiritual? Or does it just have an essence? So there's room here for you to answer in your own way in this book. So are trees and bunny rabbits within the same as one in that of soul? And what about the ants on the bark of that tree? Why do we kill the things we do not eat? Is the casket that has been made from a tree have a soul or an essence? So these things, like a child, like let your imagination run rampant. And it's okay. Today, take a quarter of an hour or as long as you want until it hits you to stimulate the mind in this way and before starting its day in this way then at evening again or throughout the day intermittently go over the day and in this way to see how it might have changed the pattern of self-awareness so always step aside take some time recalibrate bring yourself back to center and rejuvenate you don't want to burn out when you start feeling that is when you do it and so ah oh, this thing <laughs> i'm working on it i've gone to the dollar store to uh to get this green background <clears throat> and it's like okay we're gonna do whatever we feel like <laughs> so this is what you're seeing is this green background oh. in any event <clears throat> we must continue <clears throat> The purpose is to discover empathy and create depth perception. And I will leave you with these words and I hope to see you in the transition over to another way. Of day 217 and the many lessons to come.
with reverence for all beings on earth, I walk in peace. With reverence for all beings on earth, I walk in peace. With reverence for all beings on earth, I walk in peace. And slowly start to come around now. Twitch and blink your eyes open to what's in front of you and slowly come to focus of your more distant background and foreground and all around and what might be you engaging with throughout the day that you have set intentions to commit with and achieve if not completely bit by bit till we get there And so it is. Just let it be. <laughs>